Dun, 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 ping, Hi there and welcome to this tutorial to fix issues when reinstalling, installing or just updating the graphic properties and drivers in Windows 10. What causes impossibility to change resolution, configuration or just seeing those configs at all? Let's start saying that this is a very successful tutorial I already created and tested a long while ago. I did it in Spanish, uh, so sorry for my weird pronunciation sometimes. Uh, just roll with it, please. Um, so yes, this does not require special computer knowledge, so you can just follow what I do. Please notice, like you could ignore it, that the video has been recorded in an OS with Spanish configurations, but don't worry. The buttons and options are in the same place, so you will have not to worry about that. You, you will notice when I describe them. Uh, finally, let's explain. Let's start by explaining the reason why this is happening. You see, Windows 10 installs a generic driver. It's a, it's a really good driver when it comes to compatibility. Uh, it supports, uh, at a basic level, all GPUs I have seen. But in order to do this, it seems that it forces a very safe to load configuration that is not really a good way to enjoy the full capacities of some GPUs, especially the old ones. So what we are gonna do uh, here is manually force install more feed drivers. The preparation to do this uh, starts here. So um, all starts by knowing what GPU model are we using. If you have no idea how to do this, please let me know and I will try to make a video about this and put it on the description. But there are also already other great videos on the matter uh, on YouTube, so you can look about how to recognize, how to know what my GPU is, etc. With that, I will recommend going to the maker's page and look for the drivers for the exact model you are using. Download all the drivers you find there. Uh, be aware of that uh, 32 and 64 version thing. I won't get I won't get super deep on that, but yeah, must be the one of your operative system. So yeah, if you make sure you know if you are using a 32 or 64 OS. Okay, I recommend of course downloading the version for Windows 10, but just in case, let's also download uh, the version for Windows 8 and 7. And if you can, try to avoid auto install programs, I mean the X type. If offered, prefer the compressed versions of the drivers that usually come in SIPs, RARs, or similar. You will notice the difference. The X are auto installers, so yeah. In case your card is really, really new, maybe a simple upgrading uh, will be enough. Uh, you can install the recent driver uh, you got by visiting the makers page, or you can use the updater in the device manager, as shown here. Just go to the device manager. You can look for it in the in the start menu, device manager, and um, then you go for the display adapters. Unfold it, select your GPU, right click and uninstall its driver. Once it's gone from the list, go to actions and look for hardware changes. That or rebooting the PC would make it appear again, reinstalling the basic drivers of the device. That's really a long shot, but if it doesn't work, don't worry. Now we are going to start manually doing it. So. Once you have the drivers already downloaded, try to try to install them. Don't don't worry if you succeed. Just try, uh, or and or compress uh, their content if you have it in a compressed file format. Remember, where are you doing this on compressing thing? Where are your drivers are? Please, it's really important you remember where are they. Where are them? Uh, so uh, reboot your computer and we, you will be ready to start the, the solution itself. Reboot, reboot, and here we are, step one. 
Open the device manager once again. Expand the display drivers and look for the GPU. Right click on the update option. Step 2. Don't go for the automatic option. Select the manual option. This will open a, a menu to select the file. But no. Just go below again and choose from a list. It will uh, load, it will load for a bit and then show you a list of drivers that has been, have been previously installed or used. This, um, try each one, I will say try each one. Reboot, test and try the next one. Until you find one you, you re it really suits you. In my case I just went for the oldest and it worked perfectly when I had in the video I was using a very old card, so it worked for me. Mm -hmm. um, but in the option, in the case you don't have options for this guy, uh, for this list, or you or you want to install more drivers to keep trying, um, I will guide you to add more options. So step three, only if the options in step two were not enough. On this pop-up just use use the button here i don't recall exactly how it's called in english but it's the only button <coughs> come on then examine and track down the drivers on compressed files where uh do you remember i told you to remember where they are uh, they were so yeah you can look for them there and try it on directory by directory until you find a supported file Probably will be a .inf file, or maybe just an installer. But just look, uh, look for supported files and click on them. It will load a bit. It will install, and I don't recall properly, but I think it will add the new driver you found to this list that we saw at the end of step two. Or I don't remember if right away executed. Or just add it to that list but either way if already executed or not uh, just go for the step two select the, the new driver there and try either way um, as I said mm, explore all the drivers you can but remember remember that I suggested downloading different versions even from previous uh, always for, for previous operative systems yeah some people make it work even for drivers from Win 7 so don't surprise yeah but please be really really careful with the 32 and 64 x thing i won't i know what that's it i mean it has is architecture of of the os of course but if you don't know don't worry just take my word on this don't use 32 version of programs in 64 uh, operative systems and vice versa is no no that's a no no well that will be all i hope it helps you and please uh, let me know if you need a video for, on the driver things or on peripherals recognitions or so i can translate you more videos have a great day and take care kind regards boys and girls uh, remember to stay safe and best luck with this Good morning. Bye.